much the same way. So when it comes to IDs, let's actually go and create one here. After my h2 tag I have a class, then after the class I'm going to create an attribute called ID which is going to be equal to double quotes and then inside the ID we can go ahead and give it some kind of name. I could give it the same name as the class name here, or I could give it something different, it's up to you. Then go inside my style sheet and underneath my class styling here, I can actually go ahead and say hashtag index dash h2 and the hashtag is the way we refer to an ID inside CSS, just like we did with classes using punctuation. So when we do this inside CSS using IDs, we can also go ahead and style elements using IDs. So I could actually say color should be green. In this case, I could actually go and delete my class up here, go inside my website and as you guys can see, now the top title here is going to turn green. Now another thing that's important about classes and IDs is that when we talked about classes, I could in fact use the same class, copy it and use it multiple times inside my page here inside my website. Now when it comes to IDs, I can only have one ID inside one HTML element. Meaning that right now, as you guys can see, we have an ID inside my h2 tag that is named index-h2, we were to add a second ID called maybe index-title. I can't do this because we should only have one ID inside one HTML element. Now the same thing goes for having one specific ID name inside one page. So if we were to copy this, the ID, and paste it inside my paragraph tag down here, we cannot have the same ID name inside different elements. So if we were to use an ID inside my paragraph tag, I need to change the name into maybe index-p because now they're not the same names. Now, if you were to actually do this inside a website and actually go inside your browser, it might not give you an error message. But syntax-wise, you shouldn't do this inside your website. So usually you should stick with classes when you want to style elements inside your website. So at this point, you might be asking me, well, why should we use IDs when classes can do the same thing as IDs, but more? Well, when it comes to IDs, it also has a couple of things it can do that classes can't do. For example, if I were to go ahead and create a section down here by creating a DIV which has content inside of it related to a very specific thing such as courses. If I have lessons inside my website, then if I want to link to this specific section inside the website. You know we click on a link and then it just takes you down the page instead of to a new page. Then we use IDs in order to do this because if we were to actually go ahead and create an ID, call this one index. Dash courses and I know we haven't talked about links yet, but if we were to create a link up here further up the documents and then say we want to link to an ID just like we did inside CSS called index dash courses. Then when I click this, then if I were to save it, go inside my website, refresh. If I were to click on the link up here, it would actually take me down the page to where the courses section start. So this is one thing that IDs does really well when it comes to linking to certain sections inside a website.